This door was at the entrance of a cell in the old city jail called Bacardo, called the Bishop's Room, where the bishops Cramner, Ridley and Latimer were confined, and from where they were taken to suffer martyrdom in the town ditch behind the houses opposite Balliol, in the reigning of Queen Mary. That was the 16th of October, 1555. On this day, the 16th of October in 1555, two men were tied to a stake for their faith, Nicholas Ridley and Hugh Latimer. The spot is marked right here in the road in Broad Street in Oxford. Workmen found the space on the town ditch, the wide ditch between what was the city wall and the outskirts of the city where all the rubbish was placed and in this place they were burnt at the stake for their faith. They were evangelicals, that means people who believed that the Bible ought to be in the language of people uh, of the country, that people did not need priests or bishops or others to stand between them and God, that Christ's death upon the cross was enough for their salvation and for the forgiveness of sins. And for that, they were burned and killed. They'd spent the time from March till October in a prison, just at the end here where the old north gate of the city was. And as they lay dying, Hugh Latimer turned to Ridley and said, be of good cheer, Master Ridley, for we shall light a candle this day in England, as I trust shall never be put out about 10 years ago when we had the opportunity to start a new Christian community on the outskirts of the city of London. We took the name Latimer and the stones from this space to mark the beginning of our new community. People who would do whatever it cost, whatever it took to bring the truths of the gospel to their generation and that's what we were committed to doing. And it seems fitting at this time to revisit the call, the core of what it really means to stand for the gospel in our generation. And in lockdown between March and October, that has been so different from what any of us expected, my mind has gone back to the fact that they were jailed in March and they were killed on this day in October 1555. How different they had imagined their year going and maybe the same is true for us. But it may have looked like a massive defeat. Here they were, once Bishop of London, uh, once Bishop of Worcester, and very soon afterwards their dear friend, Cramner, who was forced to watch them dying in extreme agony on this spot, was himself also killed in this place. Two years later though, Elizabeth came to the throne and it looked very different. 44 years of rule of much peace that showed a completely different outcome for the nation than they had expected. And so on this day, 16th of October, I think back to that moment and I take hope. I think of Hebrews 13 which says, go to him outside the camp, outside the city walls, Christ, and if necessary, bear the shame that he bore. Latimer and Ridley bore extraordinary shame on this day, 1555, but it was the building of the new era of their nation.